Bling! Huh? Hi everyone, and welcome back to Daily Doodles. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of me uh, showing you how to draw something today, uh, we're going to have a little look-see at these markers. So, um, as you can see, they were $3.00. Um, so I picked up a few packs. These were from Dollarama, which is a store that we have here in Canada. Um, a dollar store, if you couldn't tell by the name Dollarama. Um, so I picked up one, two, three, four, and five different packs. So these were the only packs that I could see. I don't know if they have other packs besides these ones. But we have the uh, Charm Collection, the Spring Collection, Skin Collection, Fluorescent Collection, and the Candy Collection. So it is from the, it looks like the Crafts Company, I guess, which I assume is a, um, a Dollarama brand. And now these are blendable water-based markers. So the markers that I often use with my drawings are alcohol-based markers. Um, but we'll see it, it, see what these ones are like. So it says that there are six in each pack and uh, no odor. Cool. <laughs> Dual tip is fun. So it looks like we've got a fine tip and a thicker one. So um, I don't know, I'm just gonna open these on up and I'm going to swatch them to see what they're like because I have a funny feeling that the uh, the color on the cap, like this color here, I have a funny feeling that the color on the cap is not really gonna match um, the color of the ink super duper well. Um, that's just something that I've noticed in the past with other uh, kind of cheaper markers that I've purchased before. Um, I have bought in the past some other like kind of dollar store or cheaper brand markers and they weren't a great match. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> so uh, come along for the swatching of the dollar Rama markers. Okay, so we just have, right now we have the candy collection. So I'm gonna write Candy collection. Candy collection. And let's see. All right, so, oh. F126, okay. I've never seen a marker that starts with a, um, a letter. So that's right off the bat um, interesting. <laughs> All right, and ooh, it's like sword in the stone. Oh my golly. Okay, <laughs> that was tough. Okay, that's pretty. And it's similar to the cap color. That's pretty good, that's pretty close. Okay, cool. I'm pleased with that match, that's good. So that was F126. Alrighty. So next let's do 86. <laughs> Vivid reddish purple. Oh, this one's way easier to uncap than the other one was. This one's also super duper close to the cap color. Okay, so far I'm impressed. 86. 138. This one is 138. It's pretty pale. But it's even called light pink, so... Cool. The caps are tricky, like, to put them back on, I had to really snap it, like, really make sure it's on. Um, this one is 198 Tender Pink. Okay. So far, these really are kind of matching the caps. I, I gotta say, I am, oof. Impressed. 198. And then the two of these look pretty similar. We'll see though. Oh yeah, one's 81 and the other's 82. There's deep violet and light violet. So, oof, let's see. That's pretty purple. Oof. 
So 81 and man, oh man, these are a pretty good match for dollar store brand. 82. Okay, so, so far I am pleased with the matching of the uh, the cap colors to the actual ink color. I am impressed. So um, that's the candy collection. Let's see now about the fluorescent collection. All right, so we've got a fluorescent rose. Oh, that's a super pretty color. I really like that one actually, 125. Pretty, 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 pretty. And let's try 73 ultramarine. pretty and it really does look like well yeah it's a pretty good match now we've got fluorescent yellow 123 oof oh my golly this one doesn't want to come out oh my goodness wow this one does not want to come off oof Okay, there we go. Um, that was tough. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so pretty color, 123. Um, pretty color, but I definitely don't like how tough that was to get off. All right, this one's 124, fluorescent green. That's pretty too. Now, fluorescent orange, 122. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and the last one in this collection is cerulean blue, 63. Pretty, a pretty good match. I gotta say, I, I'm impressed with how well the, the ink colors are matching up to the cap colors. Um, but wasn't impressed just then how hard, uh, it was to get 123, the cap off of that one. All right. So now we've got the skin collection. So skin collection. This pen is getting low on ink. So on the back of the package too, it does have like swatches for us, but you know, it's always nice to swatch it yourself and see if it's actually accurate. All right, so we've got 28 fruit pink. Ooh, that's very, very light. Yeah, pretty good. Next, let's do 139 flesh. I'm really not digging these caps. It's like they're uh, like awkward to put on and off. 137 medium pink. Mm. Medium pink, is this one? Was this one up here in the candy collection light pink? Um, yes, it was. This one doesn't, this one almost looks lighter than the one that actually is called light pink. So that's weird. But I mean, it's not a huge difference or anything. It just, the medium pink here um, looks lighter than the light pink, but whatever. <laughs> it 
is what it is. 91, natural oak. Oof. Oh, that's very dark. That's not quite the color I was expecting from the cap. This, the actual ink color is definitely darker than it is on the cap. This one's more of a like dark chocolate maybe. This one's more of like a milk chocolate. Let me know in the comments, are you more of a milk chocolate person or a dark chocolate person? Me, I like milk chocolate. All right, 95, burnt sienna. Quite, not quite a great match. Um, you can tell I just started writing the numbers above the colors because these colors are getting too dark for me to have the black ink on it. You wouldn't be able to see it. All right, 24 Marigold. This is the last one in this collection. That's pretty. That's a pretty good match too. Okay, so two more collections. So then now let's do the spring collection. All right, so 22 French Vermilion. pretty. It's a pretty good match too. And now let's do 24 Marigold. Oh, never mind. Sorry. This was from the last collection. This one was still around. Oops. Wait, was it? No. Wait a minute. There was Marigold in the last collection and Marigold in this collection too. Okay, that's strange. I uh, I didn't realize that that was in both collections. Weird. I guess I don't need to swatch this one because I already swatched it in the last collection. That's strange. But I will do it anyway. <laughs> that's so weird. Hmm. I wonder if there's doubles of any other colors. Uh, this is BG5, blue-gray. Oh yeah, it's a nice gray. That's very weird though. All right, this is 83, lavender. Pretty. It, um, well, nah, it's an okay purple. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not my favorite purple. I, I like these ones better, but it's okay. So, 83. All right, next, let's do the pale green light. Yeah, pale green light is what it says. Right? Pale green light. Pale green light, yep, yeah, all right. Oh yeah, that's definitely pale green. And it's very light. So 167. Now the last one in this collection is ooh, cool shadow. So 178. Oof. Oh my golly. Ooh. Okay, like a, a nice pretty blue. I don't know if I'd call it a cool shadow. Cool shadow kind of sounds to me, and no, this is tricky to get back on. Why? Why? Oof. Uh, the name Cool Shadow sounds to me like it would be a, um, a light gray. But whatever. All right, the last collection for us to swatch is the Charm Collection. And again, these were all three bucks, so it's a pretty good price for a pack of markers. Uh, 
I mean, it certainly beats the price of uh, Copics and all those other friendly pals. All right, number 31, dark yellow. Mm, really well, light brown. Or like really light orange. Sure. Now, who do we have next? Let's do 92 chocolate. Oh my golly, why are these so hard to open? Well, it's not all of them. Hmm. I'm not obsessed with these browns. It's almost like they look like grainy. But maybe that's just me. 92. Um, let's see, let's do number two, old red. Ugh. Oh my. Oh man, okay. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so that's a really pretty color. This is number two. Um, I don't know if you just noticed thing when I pulled the top off that one, but I think little bits of itty bitty little bits of ink kind of just went on my page here. Like, can you see these teeny tiny little bits? Anyway, so. Um, it's a good thing I wasn't actually doing a drawing and coloring in some picture that I was like spending a lot of time at just then because I'd have little blobbies of ink on it. Hmm, moving on. Number one, wine red. Sometimes the tops are really easy to get off and sometimes they're really not good to get off. Number one. Uh, number 50, forest green. Ooh, pretty. That color is super pretty. But it doesn't really strike me as a forest green. It kind of gives me more like underwater vibes. But it's a really pretty color. And our last color, number 69, Parisian blue. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> but it does indeed match the um, cap, so it's cool. All right, folks, so those are our colors, our, uh, our swatches from our Dollarama markers. Now, uh, let me know, have you bought these before? What are they like to draw with? What are they like to color with? I'm interested in, uh, in hearing your opinion if you've tried these before. Um, and let me know if you think I should try to color with these and give them a shot. All right, folks, so thank you so much for swatching with me today. Hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you back here tomorrow for whatever tomorrow may bring. <laughs> All right, everyone, goodbye.